Right, so it's worth doing a little section right at the bottom where it's, uh, you're going to talk about how you're going to use these training methods in combination. Now, doing a combination of these will benefit the athlete. Um, there's a 1% concept with the British cycling team, Mr. Thomas loves talking about it, where they looked at every area and decided to improve it by 1%. It's just giving you an idea of like there's tiny margins in professional sport now where they're looking to improve every single part of the athlete. Um, there's a uh, training plan that you may get that the athlete will have, and often during the pre season, they'll look at do a SWOT analysis, should have written that down, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats um, for the athlete to Im make improvements. Um, and this also links to motivation and adherence. So if you're uh, varying the types of training methods that you're doing, then you're more likely to uh, stick to your plan or stay motivated with it. Um, lastly, beneath here, there is a video that I want you to look at, some of the different athletes and think, which training methods are these athletes using uh, possibly in combination together and then use that for your example and make sure you apply sporting context sporting context to whichever athlete you pick